Hello everybody, I'm Johannia and today I'm going to take you through my opinions of uh, the Moto Z3 Play, uh, the mid-range phone that Motorola will be uh, launching uh, in India sometime during this month. I mean, there were some rumors that this phone was supposed to launch sometime this week, but so far it hasn't launched. Uh, to take you guys through the specifications, the phone will come with a 6-inch display, an 18 by 9 aspect ratio display. Uh, it's a super AMOLED display, uh, just like the past two years and with a pixel density of uh, 402 ppi a full hd plus display that's a 1080p display uh, powering the hood would be qualcomm's layer uh, mid-range processor the snapdragon 636 octaco processor and uh, under the hood would be a 3000 milliampere battery and this time around motorola have decided to go in for a dual camera setup uh, at the back uh, the primary camera would be a 12 megapixel f1.7 aperture camera which should technically help it out in low light and a 5 megapixel camera to go with it. And the front selfie cam this time around is an 8 megapixel uh, f2.0 aperture camera uh, with a dual tone LED flash which is pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, the phone would come in two colors this time, one would be oxy black and one would be uh, deep indigo and uh, two variants, one would be the 4 gigabyte RAM, 64 GB internal space variant and the other one would be the 6 GB RAM, 128 gigabyte variant. Uh, concerning the pricing, uh, the phone is being sold in the US for $500 which comes up to about 34,000 Indian rupees which is very very high in my opinion considering the fact that if you spend 35,000 rupees and now you don't even have to spend 35,000 rupees if you spend 33,000 rupees since there's a 2,000 rupee cashback offer uh, you can get the OnePlus 6 uh, which to me is the best mid-range uh, flagship phone uh, you can buy right now with Qualcomm's latest 8, 845 uh, processor which is the most powerful processor offered by Qualcomm right now it's got a good set of cameras blazing fast performance, good enough battery life and overall a good looking phone as well. And you have so many other options in this price budget. You have the Honor 10 which is around the same price, the Honor View 10 uh, which is again around the same price and finally the latest offering from ASUS, the ASUS Zenfone 5Z which again comes with Snapdragon's latest 845 octa-core processor. So I believe in this price range uh, uh, Motorola are not going to be able to make a proper sell in India. Uh, the primary competition for the, Mo for the Moto Z3 Play uh, would be in the form of the Nokia 7 Plus uh, which comes with a way more powerful Snapdragon 660 octa-core processor and the very soon to be launched Xiaomi uh, Mi 8 SE which will launch with Qualcomm's latest and most powerful mid-range processor the Snapdragon 710 optical processor and that too will come with an AMOLED display. I think the pricing is going to be anywhere between 20 and 25,000 rupees. You know, just going by Motorola's track record, I think this phone is going to be priced anywhere between 30 and 33,000 rupees this time around. But I just feel they need to make a very, very, very aggressive, uh, or rather take on a very aggressive approach this time around around and price is somewhere around 25 maybe 28,000 rupees. I know it's not going to be technically possible considering the fact that last year's Z2 Play was priced at exactly 28,000 rupees but they did shock us last year by bringing the Z2 Force uh, for just 35,000 Indian rupees. I mean going by the track record uh, the phone was priced anywhere between 700 and 750 US dollars which amounts to 50,000 and over Indian rupees so I'd expect I had actually expected the phone to launch at 49999 so they did do that last year so you never know Motorola might just do something unbelievable and price it somewhere around 25 28000 rupees but that's just my assumption but as far as uh, reality goes I think it's going to be priced between 30 and 33000 rupees and the 4 gigabyte and 64 uh, GB variant will make it to India and of course you'll get both the colors as well but I feel it's going to be a very, very tough sell this time around for Motorola and the only unique feature 
of the Moto Z lineup right from the beginning has been the facility of mods. Uh, you know, if you're not satisfied with your battery, Motorola provides a battery mod which you can purchase online, which will increase your battery capacity. And if you're not satisfied with the music volume, you can purchase a JBL speaker mod and many other mods that have come out right now to increase the quality uh, of volume in your device. And if you're not satisfied with the camera, you have the Hasselback. Uh, camera mod to improve camera performance and there are so many other mods available right you even have a projector mod and so on but the one big negative about these mods is some of these mods cost almost as much as the phone uh, which is not cool in my opinion so I just feel a uh, Motorola are swimming in very 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 deep waters this time around and it's going to be a very, very, very tough sell in India, the Moto Z3 Play, if it is priced at 30,000 and above rupees. So these have been my thoughts about the Moto Z3 Play. And uh, this being my first uh, review video on YouTube, I'd like to know what you guys thought about it. And if you guys really like the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up from y'all. And if you guys are interested in following me from here on, uh, I'd suggest you guys to just click the subscribe button right there and if you guys are interested in knowing all the latest things I would be up to I'd suggest you guys to go and uh, click on the bell icon over, here, over there and if you click on that you'll get all the notifications of what all I would be uh, posting on uh, YouTube from here on and uh, do stay tuned because the next uh, review I will be doing is going to be a long-term review and I think many of you guys might be interested in that in this one because uh, it's going to be on the Pixel 2 XL which has been my primary device for the past eight months so I'm going to take you guys through the pros and cons of that device and right after that I plan to do a full-fledged review of the Moto E5 Plus which will launch uh, in the next three days in India so stay tuned and I wish you guys a magnificent day ahead uh, take care and uh, ciao for now.